Hey everybody, welcome to Hilltop Machine Works. Well hey guys, I uh, got something a little bit different today. Taking you along on a road trip. We are heading over to Metal Supermarkets. Hopefully we can uh, score some good drops out of their scrap bins. And I am also going to be uh, meeting Jim Deadman over there. You guys know Jim. He's got a YouTube channel, a small uh, backyard machine shop. And uh, fingers crossed that uh, Metal Supermarkets will let me film so I can show you guys um, the layout and all the stuff that they got. So um, hang on, and uh, in about half an hour, we'll be there. Alrighty, we are pulling in. A little busy back here today. We're going to the uh, back dock over here. And I see Jim's truck. Cool. Alright guys, we have permission to film, so a big shout out to uh, Craig Mooney, Operations Manager and Sales. This is his card. So uh, we are going to go inside and show you guys the inner workings of the metal supermarkets. Alright, so when you walk in the back here the dock, hopefully the air compressor will shut off. But they've got stock bins over here. This is a cutting area if you order stuff at a specific length. And then they've got their uh, stock over here and then they've got the shelves to choose from all the way back over there. Let me get around and uh, get some good shots. This guy driving the forklift now, he's getting ready to move the uh, scrap bins for us so we can get into them. But uh, we've got all sorts of drops over here. These are drops that um, are in their inventory but they're just uh, not big enough to put on the shelves. So as you can see, they uh, are nice enough to label all the stuff for you. Got some stainless over here. A2, 304, 4340. I got some nice 4140 over there. And uh, there's Jim. You guys know Jim. So we're hitting the place up. And uh, 1018, I got square and rectangle. Some 1045, there's some nice dress proof down there. 1144. So, and this is their uh, big, I guess you'd almost call it like a table saw. So, you need a large sheets cut. And back over here is their selection. Uh, we got uh, aluminum over there, looks like that's 6061. Move over here to uh, steel and as you can see there I've got all different shapes and sizes got some big daddy 6061 down there five six maybe eight inch in diameter and if you really need some massive uh, you know plates for your press you can get some nice big thick stuff there so as you can see guys they've got a huge assortment um, scrap stuff he said now is about uh, 40 cents a pound for steel and around 70 for aluminum so not too bad and over here they've got uh, large drops I think if I can get over here Alrighty, so uh, we were uh, hit gold because they've got uh, a good selection. That they haven't uh, sent this stuff out to be scrapped yet. Here's the steel. Jim is finding some gems in the rough right now. <laughs> well, I got. You see the press. So here's my little pile. I got some steel, a couple pieces of aluminum, and then Jim over here, he's got a little pile going. We get uh, some decent light here, aluminum and steel. So 
we're gonna get this stuff weighed paid and then get out of here and grab some lunch hope you guys enjoyed the little tour of the place um like i said you can grab pretty much anything you want over here one last panoramic view of what they got going on and what kind of selection of stuff now this particular uh metal supermarkets they're they're super i mean really nice guys that's courtney right there i've dealt with him on several occasions he's always uh been real responsive to my needs and helped me get my stuff and get out the door so uh anyways uh, we tried to lighten up their uh their scrap just a little bit but as you can see all different shapes and sizes this is the way to go if you got a metal supermarkets anywhere in your area instead of having to order off ebay and you know pay uh the shipping is kind of what kills you if you get in a flat rate box but still you know it's great you can just come and dig through something like this and get all of the sizes and shapes you need for projects so anyways guys hope you enjoyed it and we're gonna head out of here and go grab some lunch i figured before we left i'd show you the uh the a-bomb size material that they uh <laughs> that they got in case uh you know you want to grab a hold of one of these pieces uh hopefully the camera will do it justice that big one there is probably geez 14 16 inches in diameter one's there are eight uh ten that one's probably 12 that piece of aluminum and then you get over here and got some big ones over there almost looks like maybe some some ductile or some gray iron so and there's some bigger ones up there and over there so you got a monster mill and need some monster material they got the big stuff too So uh, I am back home, uh, wrapped up a nice lunch with Jim, so we were able to uh, feed our bellies and uh, talk shop. It was a good time. So I just wanted to do a recap, show you guys what we got, actually specifically show you what I got, and Jim's going to post a video so he'll show you what he got, but a nice little array assortment of uh, rounds there for uh, future lathe projects that uh don't know what they'll be but at least i've got stock now and the flat here that's going to be for an upcoming project on the mill after we get this uh rotary welding table build done and the aluminum well you know you can always use some nice fat 6061 and at those sizes it's definitely better to buy it than to uh and have it on hand than to um, now nah, I need it and then you got to uh, order it on the internet and pay you know the shipping costs you just as much as the actual material itself but uh, and um, to show you what it was we got a total of uh, 105 pounds of steel and 21 pounds of aluminum uh, today it's August 21st 2018 so aluminum price was 65 cents a pound for scrap aluminum and 50 cents a pound for scrap steel so i end up dropping 70 bucks and 95 cents and i would like to uh, also say uh, thank you craig and metal supermarkets for your hospitality and then um you know if you guys have got a metal supermarkets in your area and you haven't uh, patronized them i hope this video helps you out and realize that uh yeah you can get you some good deals go over there and um, hopefully your location is as uh, friendly as the location we got and they'll let you dig around and uh, find some nice uh, drops to uh, use in the shop so anyways a little something a little bit different hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you on the next video